Hi friends, welcome back to Scratch Aid. My name is Anand Manoj and in today's video, we'll learn how to add a high score to your games. It's a really easy thing and you'll be surprised how fast we do it. Uh, we can use these high scores to, en uh, to enhance our games and your games will be enhanced as it has gone to the next level. So it'll be super cool. Keep watching to learn how to make a high score in such an easy way. So let's start. So first, uh, we'll need a game for the high score to start working. So I'm not gonna make a real game. Just gonna make a simple one. So I'll do it quick. Just gonna add a balloon. When the spiders click, we wanna start playing the sound pop. That's it we'll need for the game. We're just gonna keep it there, no differences. And just to enhance you guys, to not make it so burn, I'm just gonna change the color by 25. There. So now, let's see how this works. So when we start the game, so that's how it works. Hope you guys understood how it works. It's just really simple, nothing to more enhance it with because I'm not making a game in this tutorial. I'm make, showing you how to add a high score. So now let's start with the high score work. For the high score to start working, we'll need to add a variable. So the variable is the main concept of the high score. We, to make a variable, that's called as the first one shall be high score. High score. And the second one shall be score. So we have a score and a high score. Um, that's the first step done. Now the second step is to uh, one, so this is the main, these three blocks are the main motion of the game. So that's the game and we wanna change the score by one when we do this action. So this is the game, clicking. So let's see. So when I click it, it changes to the numbers. And that's what we want. Now let's stop it and start a new game. But you see the score is still on 8. It hasn't become a new game yet completely. So for that to be okay, we'll need to start a new script. When the space is clicked, we want to set the score to 0. So when we set it, when we press the green flag, it goes back. And we have a new game in front of us. So you see, it's so simple and so easy for the score. So the score's job is done right here. Next starts for the high score's job. Um, step number three. We will make the for, uh, we'll have the forever loop and the if then loop. So the forever loop is just to make it keep checking and the if then we need it. Next is the operators. If the dash is smaller than the dash, that is, if the high score is smaller than the score, then we will want to set the high score to the score. Just think about its logic. So if the high, if the score was like suddenly a bigger than the high score, we would like to change the high score to the score. It's so simple, right? Yeah. So you might be thinking that there's so much more, but it's done. You only need this much to make add the high score to your game. Just a few blocks and boom, you are to the next level. So let's try this. Stop it. Start it and you have zero scores. And if I just keep it at two and stop the game and start it, you'll see the high score is still four. And if I go about the high score, the high score is also going about. So wasn't this super easy and super fun to do? This is how to add a high score to your games. I've made this video not only for beginners, but also for pros and mid players. They really need these things so that they can enhance their game just by a few blocks to the next level. So thank you friends. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you have any doubts. So goodbye. See you in the next video. Bye friends.